welcome back for another VeChain Prize prediction analysis video and in this video I will be discussing my short term and also my long term edio wave analysis that I'm expecting to play out here on the VeChain chart and at the time of this recording VeChain continues to hold below the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up we are also holding above support on the 0 0.03 and as long as this key area of support continues to hold I'm still expecting higher prices where I have the 0 0.035 as my first target area and that area is also acting as a resistance and a break above that maybe with a successful retest then we can easily see VeChain get above the 0 0.04 dollars in the next coming hours or maybe days and to fully support that movement to the upper side I will also be using the Fibonacci connecting the fibs from this low that we made at the 0 0.027 all the way to that high above the 0 0.034 where you can see that we saw a bit of a pullback over here into the golden pocket between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.618 between the 0 0.0374 and the 0 0.02986 which is an area that we almost fully maximized and in the next coming hours I'm expecting VeChain to see a reaction of this area see a breakout to the upper side flipping the FIB level 0 0.5 back into support and that will be the start of that massive breakout to the upside having my first target area at the 0 0.035 and remember the moment you manage to break above that with a successful retest then 0 0.04 will be my next target area also have in mind that there are also chances that in case we don't see an increase in the buying momentum and maybe we see a bit of a pullback in the next coming hours then the first key area of support to hold is the, is the 0 0.03 and as long as this continues to hold expect another bounce back but if by any chance we lose the 0 0.03 maybe with a retest then the 0 0.026 will be my first target area to the lower side and on losing the 0 0.026 then the 0 0.02436 will be my next target area and also support which needs to continue holding so that is what I'm keeping my eyes on on the short term here on the VeChain chart and jumping to the daily chart to now give you my long term edio wave analysis that I'm expecting to play out once the bull market is here and also give you minimum target areas to expect when the bull market is here you can see that back in 2020 VeChain gave us these lows over here before we saw an aggressive move taking us to all time highs above the 0.28 in a move that I've been terming as the formation of this ADO12 count one and after seeing the formation of that first wave we saw a bit of a breakdown move in the formation of a larger ADO12 count two and there are high chances that we have now bottomed out in the formation of that second wave and in the next coming days or maybe weeks we are going to see the start of another explosive move to the upside in the formation of this wave three whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area for the third wave above the fib level 1.618 and that is above the 0 0.46 then expect a bit of a pullback in the formation of this wave four then continue gearing up even higher in the formation of that with five to the upper side so that is the price action that i'm keeping my eyes on here on the vchain chart on the short term and also on the long term and i hope that video was of much help to you and i hope to catch you in the next one